After almost five years of, of fighting, it's pretty incredible that as we come here to London in 2016, uh, the situation on the ground is actually worse, not better. And the suffering in Syria grows. It's not diminishing. Secretary of State John Kerry earlier today in London recounting the plight of Syrians as our nation pledges even more money to those affected by the ongoing conflict. Now get this, the Obama administration plans to increase humanitarian aid by almost one billion dollars, bringing our total amount of aid to that country to a whopping 5.1 billion dollars in the last four years. But isn't it time that Mr. Obama and his administration do more than just throw money at this problem? Let's talk about it with our panel. Joining us now with their insight and opinion, former CIA analyst Fred Flights, currently the senior vice president for policy and programs at the Center for Security Policy. And joining us from Newsmax, Washington, retired U.S. Army Colonel Patrick Murray. Patrick is the author of the book, Government is the Problem. Fred, first to you. More money, more money, more money, and not exactly satisfactory results. Your take on it. I think that's exactly right, J.D. This, uh, our Syria policy is really a catastrophe. These peace talks talk open this week, but frankly, the, the parties never met, and they immediately went into a pause until the end of the month because the Syrian opposition refuses to join the talks as long as the Russians are bombing them and uh, villages are blockaded, which is causing people to starve, and Assad is kept in power. I, I think this, and this money that the administration wants to send to Syrian refugees, I don't know where this money's going to go. Well, not only that, but Colonel, we have a situation where we got a bit of candor from our Secretary, in State, uh, Secretary of State. Some people say it's incredible that he would admit that things on the ground have gotten worse. Is he so self-unaware that, that he doesn't believe that this administration and its policies have had a hand in things getting worse? Well, good evening, J.D. That's exactly right. It was an, an accidentally accurate statement. And you know what? Um, the Obama administration is leading from behind in Syria because, after all, that's worked so well for them in other places like Libya. And, uh, and everywhere else. And, and make no mistake, they're not going to upset the apple cart in Syria because this is all about, uh, this all goes back to Tehran and uh, Obama's desire for a foreign policy legacy with this nuclear deal that they've cut with Iran. And, uh, and if they go south in, in, um, in Syria, Iran walks away and, and Obama and Kerry do not want that to happen. And Iran is wal walking away with a lot more money than originally estimated. Fred, we are hearing that the Iranians have secured access to $1.7 billion as a settlement for the frozen assets that the U.S. put on ice, if you will, a long, long time ago. The administration says, oh, no, no, it's only about $400 million. The bottom line is the Iranians are getting double the money the Obama administration claims they were going to get. This isn't just faulty accounting, is it? Or, or is it, Fred? Well, there's two sets of figures here. The administration first said that Iran would only get $50 billion in sanctions relief, but they admitted today that that was a, a rounding error by the Treasury Department. It's really $100 billion. But then there's the issue of the $1.7 billion that the United States paid to Iran. $400 million of that is for a military purchase before the 1979 revolution. The rest of it is supposed to be interest. However, an Iranian official has said this was ransom paid for the release of American hostages. And that is something Congress is looking into. Yeah, any way you, uh, you take a look at this, Colonel, it is B-A-D bad and it is expensive. And let's just amplify the real figure we're talking about is 100 billion at least in the hands of the Iranians. And Colonel, we can expect them to use that money for what exactly, sir? They're the world's biggest state sponsor of terror, J.D., have been since we've declared it since 1986. And so uh, look for the coffers of um, Hezbollah, Hamas to be filled, of course, uh, Assad in Damascus. 
But yeah, we just stroked them, as Fred mentioned, we stroked them a check for $1.7 billion. Now, yeah, $400 million of that we had frozen since 81. Hello, they're the world's greatest state sponsor of terror. The rest is U.S. tax dollars that we cut to them. And that's why uh, Congressman Ed Royce is asking the administration to come clean about this because right when that happened, then Iran released our hostages. And they have Iranian generals in Tehran saying, you know what? This is how we do business with America because America only understands strength and, and that's what's happened with this. And, uh, and hopefully we can get to the bottom of it. I hope so. My old colleague Ed Royce chairing that important committee. Let's see if they can get to the bottom of it. Colonel Patrick Murray, author of the book Government is the Problem. And our good friend Fred Flights, both Skyping in from Washington tonight. Gentlemen, you have our thanks. Matt Staver comes up next on the Planned Parenthood case right after this.